दीक्षा 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 का ना ये बड़ा कसी बात है I grew up traveling in the backseat of my family's wood-paneled station wagon. Getting lost fills my soul. It's who I am. It's embedded in my DNA. I'm on a mission to explore and experience every country on the planet, visiting the craziest, most unique places and people in every corner of the world. I'm Jim Kitchen. Join the journey. Today, I'm at one of the world's most dangerous golf courses located in Kabul, Afghanistan. Now, why so dangerous, you ask? I'll tell you why, because of the Taliban. A short history of the Taliban. The name Taliban comes from the word Talib, which means students, and they were a devout religious group formed in the early 1990s while fighting the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. And by 1996, the Taliban had controlled 90% of this country, and they ruled it with an iron fist, imposing a strict version of Sharia law. So just a few of their rules, men were forced to wear beards, to grow beards, women were required to wear burqas covering their entire bodies from head to toe, and they were denied education of any kind. Now think Malala. And if a woman wanted to leave her home, she had to be accompanied by a male relative. And if one disobeyed these rules, they were publicly whipped with a hundred lashes in the streets, and if you spoke against the Taliban, you were hung in the city square. So American troops drove the Taliban from power after 9-11 because the Taliban was connected to the Osama bin Laden reign of terror, but the Taliban still wreak havoc on Afghanistan today. Get this, in the last four years, 50,000 people have died from Taliban attacks. 50,000 soldiers and civilians. So why are we here at this six hole golf course today? Because despite of it all, despite it all, the civil wars, the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan, the Taliban, this six hole golf course still endures 50 plus years. Today I'm with my friend Mohammed. He is the golf pro here and this tiny community supports this golf course. Hope springs eternal and peace, which has been so elusive to this country, it can't come soon enough. There's so much to do here. One day I was playing golf at a snowy golf course and the next I was farming carrots with the locals. Different side is the carrot magician. Oh, that's a carrot. I came from about 30 minutes away. And so he's got the best carrots here in Afghanistan. Normally when I travel to State Department level four do not travel countries, I'm a little on edge. However, when traveling to Afghanistan, it was a little bit different. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to keep exploring and learning about the rest of the world. Join the journey.